Hi everyone, my name is Maxwell from Circle Primary School and today we're going to decode the universe as part of my Science Talent Search 2025 using something surprisingly simple, the Fibonacci sequence. The sequence was discovered in India and was later introduced to the West in 1202 by Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci. Let's uncover how math is hiding all around us in nature, space, and even art. This is the Fibonacci sequence. You start with zero and one, then add the two numbers before you get to the next one. So zero plus one equals one, one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus three equals five, three plus five equals eight, and so on. These numbers pop up everywhere in nature. If you look at rose, tulip, sunflower, they all have petals that add up to one, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, or 34 petals, while rolls of seed in sunflower, pine cones, and pineapple will always add up to Fibonacci numbers. If you look at the keys in a piano, in one octave, there are 5 black keys grouped in 2 and 3s. There are 8 white keys with a combined total of 13 keys. The number of keys is part of the Fibonacci numbers. How amazing is that? The golden ratio is the number that appears when you divide two Fibonacci numbers, like 13 divided by 8 equals 1.625, or 21 divided by 13 equals 1.615. As the Fibonacci number increases, the results converge to the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618033988. The Greeks discovered this long before Fibonacci, and they called this constant phi. If we go back to the previous example and number our piano keys in diatonic scale, here we will highlight the Fibonacci numbers in red that repeat the process for the chromatic scale. Now, if we superimpose only the Fibonacci numbers of both scales and divide the chromatic scale by the diatonic scale, we will obtain values approaching phi. Artists and architects love the golden ratio because it is naturally pleasing to the eyes. Leonardo da Vinci used it in his paintings such as the Mona Lisa and Michelangelo used the golden ratio to paint the creation of Adam at the Sistine Chapel while ancient Greeks used it in buildings such as the Parthenon. If you draw the perimeter of each Fibonacci number squared and connect it in a curve, you get the shape of the golden spiral. This shape grows but the ratio between the shape remains the same it is found in arts, logo design, and even your ears. Have you seen a nautilus shell that spirals out perfectly? That shape follows the shape of the Fibonacci spirals too. When we look up at the sky, hurricanes, and even our galaxy, it is in the spiral shape that matches the Fibonacci curve. And when we study the radius of the Earth, which is 6,378.1 kilometers, let's call it length to adjacent, and combine with the radius of the moon, which is 1,735.97 kilometers, it will equal 8,114.07 kilometers. Let's call it length the opposite. Then using Pythagorean theorem, C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. The hypotenuse would be 10,320.77 kilometers. If we scaled the Earth radius to the value of 1, then the hypotenuse would be 1.618, which is the same as phi. We often refer to this triangle as the Kepler triangle or the Golden Triangle. Surprisingly, the Great Pyramid that was built long before Fibonacci sequence had been discovered also shared the same height base ratio as the Kepler triangle. It's amazing how math and Fibonacci sequence is all around us, from logo design to flowers, hurricanes, planets and galaxies. The Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio helps us understand how nature and mankind organize itself. So next time you stay up at the stars or listening to your favorite song, just remember that you're experiencing Fibonacci sequence in action.